In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss the investigator portal. This is where your investigators or your investigative staff will log in and see the cases that they're working on or cases that you've assigned to them. Now, you can utilize this tutorial video for two purposes. One, you can learn what the investigators see and what they have the capability to do when they log in. You can also provide this video to your investigators and use it as a training video for new staff or new users of the Crosstracks platform. The first video in this series is just going to be an overview. The first thing we want to cover is where do my investigators log in? They log in the same unique web address as you do. In this case, this is our demo account. Demo is the subdomain that we chose during sign up, so that's where our login page is, and that's where our investigators are going to go. They're going to put in their username, which is their email address, and their password that you created for them when you first signed up. They were, if you check that box, they were emailed a username and password. They can utilize that to log in and then change the password once they log in for the first time to something that's more familiar to them. Once they log in, they will go to what is their dashboard. It's not as robust as your dashboard as an admin, but it has two things, active cases and late tasks or on task. This will give them an idea of anything that they need to address immediately regarding any cases. They can view their cases by clicking on cases here on the left hand side. This will provide them a list of all of their cases. At that point they can go through search by case number or by subject. They can also search by a date that they, their case was referred. Going down here you have their calendar on the left hand side. This calendar will display all of their case assignments. You can see here so one on the 12th for this case. The investigator is also able to click on that case and be taken directly to that file. Below this is an ID card. This is a unique feature to Crosstracks. Let's say you have an investigator that needs identification because he's conducting an investigation in a certain location. He's able to pull this digital ID card up on the app and show that to somebody as almost like an official employee badge or identification at one of your client's offices or an off-site location where the investigator would need to be able to identify himself as a member of your organization. Below this you have the investigator tools and this is what you can customize inside the system, this particular item here. These are the investigator's protocols. Here's some documents that this company has created to show investigators things such as a manual, um, information on products or services that they may offer. You can put those in this area and the investigator will be able to access those when necessary. I'm going to go back over to cases, to the case list, and we're going to click on a list and see what the investigator is able to see. Now, your investigators may have a different view based on the roles and permissions that you give an investigator. Those roles and permissions could vary from user to user. So keep that in mind as you're watching this video. The investigators can see the case details in this instance, the subject information, services, uh, the objective, and this is part of the investigator's instructions. Next, you can allow them to see case notes. They can click on the case notes tab. They can filter these notes by emails, objectives, and things like that to find the information that they need. The next one is report entries. This is where the investigator can do their investigative report or see previous investigator reports that maybe an investigator before them created. They'll be able to get caught up or get up to speed on a case rather quickly just by going to this section. They can also create their own reports in this area. These tabs on case notes, reports, files, these will all have individual videos available to kind of walk you through how those tabs operate and how those, that information can be input into the system. The next tab over is files. This is where the investigator will be able to access documents, photos, video, and audio. They can go through 
click on each one of these tabs. Let's say the investigator is looking for audio or video. They can click on those tabs and find that information. This is also where the investigator will upload their video. If you do surveillance or the investigator has documentation that's a, a video in nature that he needs to upload, they'll be able to do that here. The next tab over is the report tab, and this is a list of all templates that are available for this particular case type. And as I mentioned, we'll go through an individual video and provide information on how to work with reports and report templates. Typically, an investigator would be able to click on this tab and enter their expenses or time expenses such as mileage, hotels, tolls, things like that, they'd be able to enter that directly into the system and into the case file. They could also upload a receipt or something that would verify that that expense was made and they can submit that directly to the case file. So just to recap, when the investigators log into their portal, they have a dashboard that has active cases and on tasks. They're also able to click on any of these cases and view the case file. They can obtain a list of all cases that are assigned to them, clicking on cases on the left-hand navigation bar. They also have a calendar which displays the days that cases are assigned to them. They can click on those names of the subjects and go directly to that case file. They can also obtain a digital ID card by clicking on that on the left-hand side. They're also able to view special instructions, company protocols, manuals, or other documents by clicking on investigator tools. Mm -hmm.